we've been asked if there is a way to control the display precedence of symbols. That is, when they overlap, which one is on top and how do you control that? Well, here's a rather simple example of that. Um, here's a, a large tree and a group of Buxus plants underneath it. We prefer the tree to be above the Buxus. The same applies here. Um, it looks as though here the Ceanothus is growing under the little shed here. So you control the stacking order, if you like, via tools, draw order, and you can bring entities to the front or back or bring above objects or under any. So let's take the example of the Ceanothus. We want to bring it above the shed so as though it's leaning over the top of the shed. So it would be tools, draw order, send above the object. So we're asked to select the object first, this one, and then hit enter, and then the reference object. Now, the CNOTH sits uh, above, and the same would apply here. We'd, we'd want to bring this symbol above the boxes. So let's try that one. The simplest approach, let's do it again, tools, draw order, would be just to say, let's bring the fruit tree, I think it is, to the front. So bring to the front. Select the object and hit the enter key. And now the boxes are under the fruit tree, and that looks far more realistic. You could re you could reverse it and go the other way. You'd have to pick you need to pick all of the boxes and then send them under the fruit tree. So it's a matter of experimenting with the different ways, but you can control that stacking order in that way. Stacking order can also be useful when you are arranging, um, in this case it's a hatch pattern which we clearly want on top, but to show you what, what we have is that hatch pattern being applied to a polyline. So you might get caught occasionally by the hatch pattern being under the close polyline and you won't see it so you also have to you can use the stacking order tool in that way so i hope that helps